Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to Just Fun Stuff. Another Just Fun Tour. And welcome to the island of Witherwood. I'm excited. This is a camp. It is like the last of the camping season. It's fall. It's almost winter. I am excited because I love a good summer camp and I love a good themed island. So I can't wait to get into it. Let's go ahead and take a look at our little map. And this map is not so little. There is a lot going on here. There are no waterways on here, which intrigues me because it's like summer camp. There are tons and tons of tents, which I love. I love when people leave the tents and I think on a camping island that's necessary. One main house and then the group of the villager houses all towards like the right and the back. Um, the beaches are not accessible so you'll see that all of the museum, Abel's, Nooks, the campsite, they are all on the beach where we won't be able to access them because everything we need is on the interior of this island. Let's go ahead and take a look at our villagers. We have Quilson, there's Scoot, Fang, Benjamin, Lobo, Robert, Lyman, Olivia, there's Freya, and Murphy, and the dream address is at the bottom. So if you want to end the season and come for one last trip to camp with me, type it in, let's go. Otherwise, you can save it for another time, and as always, we'll be in the description with the creator's information, so you can go ahead and check them out as well and show some support. With all of that being said, let's get this camping adventure started and head into Witherwood. Already there's little gifts set out for a, oh, there's an axe. Do we need an axe? A newsprint. Ha oh, yes, we need to wear that. What do we have here? Night vision goggles. What? Baggy shirt. Torn pants. And eye gauze. Um, we're definitely, let's go baggy shirt. Let's go torn pants. And newspaper helmet, because why not? Okay, that we're a whole lot. And night vision goggles. Okay, we look good to start this camping adventure. Let's head out. Oh, there's spiders. Oh, and shoes. I didn't see the shoes. Slip on loafers. Well, we got running shoes, so I'm going to stick with those for now. Now, I should mention that this is a bit of a spooky camp. There are some creepy things going on here, so... Clearly, you can see right away by the eyeball shirts laid out for people and the bugs everywhere, not to mention the giant claws up top. Oh, those are beetles, aren't they? They look like crab, like giant crab claws coming over top of that building. What an excellent way to start. Then, going a little further, you have... You can't have camp without a little outdoor entertainment, so they've got the little movie theater set up, which is so cute. <laughs> caution! Is that Nessie? On the caution sign? That's kind of hilarious. Oh. I don't love that there's bloody handprints down here. Somebody was crawling to get help. This is... I love it. What a great way to start. More bugs. I love... I love the way the beaches are blocked off, by the way. Completely blocked off, but you've got, like, the torches and the trees. And we're playing over here in the soccer field, which also covered in blood. Bloody handprints, bloody smears. There's some stuff going on here at Camp Witherwood. <laughs> Heading up the stairs to one of the island residents. I have no idea. I get it. The eye, like, there were eyes on the shirt, so I'm wondering what that has to do with everything. And her saying, I have no idea. I'm intrigued, but we are at the only main house, so let's go inside and check it out. And it looks like they are either moving out to get off this island or just moving in. So we're going to leave this house as is. All right, back outside here at Camp Witherwood. I do love the build up to the house. I, and look at the what's going on in there in the custom. Do you see something? Like it looks like there's something 
in that window, like staring out at me. I don't, I don't know how I feel about that. All right, just following the paths here, past the graveyard. Who's sitting here with a book? Like there's like blood underneath these tombstones. It looks like people have been freshly murdered. There's a chainsaw up top, I just saw that. People have been freshly murdered. And who's sitting here with a book? Not me. All right, following the path. Keep out. Keep out of what? I'm not keeping out, I'm going in. Go back, beware. We have a villager house and they're not home. I'm so disappointed because I would love to see what's going on inside of that. Oh, there's a hand coming out of the ground. What are they? Oh, okay. That's a clearly a brain and blood and they're cooking it. So that's horrifying. Keep out. I will and I won't. Oh, and you've got a little loud. Is this like a lookout area? Get a good view of what's going on. Oh, I see more residents. Let's go over and say hello. This is so wonderfully creepy. Annie, there's a bug in my shoe? No doubts. They're kind of everywhere all over the island. And we now have... There's bloody shirts in the back. Like, this place. It's, um... I, I kind of taken it back. I was all excited for summer camp. I don't think I want my parents to leave me here but we have a villager home and they are home so let's go inside and say hello it's Lyman's house and I can't tell I think this is his house I think yeah I think the houses are the actual villager houses which again is perfectly fine there's a lot going on on this island but yeah, I think this is his house, and I like the tropical vibe. Oh, we come out to another resident. There's quite a few, because there's quite a few tents. Macy says, worms wart, anyone? Yeah, please. All right, following again. Look at the bugs and the blood. Like, this whole place is just... What kind of camp are we camping at, is all I have to say. Because, I mean... It's dirty, it's scary, there's there's the, like, all-seeing eye. Who's dropping people off here is my question. So good, though. Look at the customs on the windows. The All broken and bloody. Another viewing spot. Where it looks like somebody tried to get away, but couldn't. Can we appreciate also just the amount of customs that have gone into this? There's so many on the ground, on all of the stands, all the signage. Like, there's a lot going on. What is going on over here? Can we get over there? We can. It's another villager house. And they are home. And I'm pretty sure it's probably their house. But we're still going to go in and we're going to say hello. Definitely the villagers' houses. And again, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. I love my stuff. They love their stuff. They moved in with it. Plus, I love this whole floor. The floor is beautiful. The whole house is beautiful. Back out to Camp Witherwood. Look at these cuts. There's like claw marks and blood. Oh, there's like an entire thing of blood over here. Did we see that? There's blood in the tank, which is just kind of horrifying. And we have another villager house. They are home. It's probably their home, but I feel like, if anything, we're going in to check in on them. It's Quilton's house, and it's kind of... It's kind of like got it's like a chic neat and tidy feeling going on in here. I like I like his style. It's kind of a nice break from outside because outside's horrifying. All right, let's continue this trip through the horrifying witherwood. What this is what I was looking at. Keep out. Look at the brains everywhere. Bottles of blood, bags of bugs, the seaweed. Werewolf, like the customs are great. 
They even took a milk container and put blood in it. Like, this place. Who is dropping people off? Like, who is dropping their kids off? I'm thinking, this is a great idea. Let's go to camp. What is this? Oh, change rooms. What is this? There's so much going on here at camp. That's the soccer field, so we saw that. The all-seeing eye. Another, what's this? There's so much to see on this island. The canteen. I don't know if I want to go there. Look at the bugs up top. Toasting marshmallows. Look at like the, the ground. It almost looks like rusty metal. Canteen. I love the build though. That's so good. Resident services where we came in. So we're going to kind of head back and go up a little further. I saw that we were coming up to some tents. I just didn't want to miss anything in between, and I'm glad we didn't, because... Oh! There's a... A big tank full of blood behind the canteen. Like, I don't know how I feel about any of this. What do we have here? We've got... See, there's, like, spooky stuff staring out of the window at me. And I love it. I'm loving the customs. I'm loving the builds. This is so good. Oh! Look at all the little dinghies, all the little boats. That is such a cute little custom. And then to have the life ring on top of them. There's no water here, so like no escape, but... Oh, there's... I take it back. You can go put your little boat into the dirty, disgusting brown water, which may or may not contain the Loch Ness Monster. It's definitely got bugs. It's definitely dirty. But look at you can you can sit beside it and enjoy your time. The blood on the boat. This is so cute. All right, heading past the boats. I love that though. That's such a cool custom. And heading to some of the campsites. Now we have tents, and I'm. Intrigued to see if the tents have been decorated or if they're there just as part of the decor, like just to have the, you know, the tents because it's, um, it's summer camp. But we're going to go inside. We're going to check it out. They are, de I'm so excited. I love it when people decorate the tents and this is decorated and look at how lovely it is in here. The leaves that get trapped in behind you. But look at how pretty. This is not spooky. Like this, I would camp here. Outside's a little questionable, but this is beautiful. Well, now I'm excited because I feel like this one over here. We got to say hello first. Fancy a brew? Um, a little bit, actually. This place is a little, little creepy. But now that we've seen the first tent, I'm excited to go and see if this one's done as well. Okay, well, this one, it's a little more unsettling. The other one made me very relaxed and want to go camping. This one has something staring in the window at you while you sleep. Um, okay. I like the first tent bed. Like, I like the design of this tent. I don't like the feeling I get. <laughs> All right, let's get out of that tent because... No, thank you. And head over... Past the dirty water, up. What is this? It's like another one of those like rec houses, like rec rec recreational houses if I could speak, where you, you know, all the camp counselors are staying. I love that you can walk around most of the entire build. That's so cool. The eye though, in puzzle form. And there's a casket on the other side. Which is, um, a little spooky itself. I'm just going to keep following the path. We come to more tents. So I'm excited because so far the tents have been really cool. And we have four of them set up here. So let's go inside and check it out. See, this is okay. This is good. We've collected some nice bugs there's a little net 
They're doing research in here. Like, this feels very summer campy. Very cute. Heading over to the next tent. Let's go inside. And again, this is cute. This is homey. There's nothing. I mean, there's a cauldron in the middle, but it's because they're making food. They're making soup for all the campers. Nothing about this makes me uncomfortable. I like this tent. All right, we have another resident. Let's say hello. I'm scared. Me too. I'm with you there. Toxic waste in this tank. At least it's not more blood because there's like a lot of blood on this island. Oh, all right. Let's go inside. Check out this tent. Oh, we have somebody in the tent. I love that. Can we say hello? Puff, puff, pass. Oh. No, you didn't say that. But look at the... Oh, they did say that. The gyroid is clearly acting as something. We're going to pretend like that didn't happen, but the tent is cute. I'm loving the tents, this whole little area. This feels very summer campy. Not as horrifying. Bugs and kisses. Oh, instead of hugs and kisses. That's kind of adorable. We have one more tent. Let's go inside. Check it out. Again, not as uncomfortable. I mean, it's got something going on here. There's bugs. There's the night vision goggles. There's clearly black spaghetti being eaten. But I mean, as far as tents go, it's not scary. The one was unsettling, but yeah, I, I would camp here. I love, sorry, I'm not trying to push you. I mean, I, I am a little bit, but I'm not trying to be mean about it. I'm loving this whole camp idea. Oh, look, you can walk. It's like a big long dock and oh, you can, look at the fish over here. Oh, you can go down. That's so cool. Oh, and here's the washrooms. Head over to the little pub, the boy's side and the girl's side. That's so cute. That may be the first time I've said cute on this island because nothing about this island is cute. It's, it's kind of scary. Look at this area. I love the builds. They're so cute. All these little buildings everywhere. It says keep, what's this? Is this like swimming? Oh yeah, there's a swimsuit so you can go diving. And finally, access to a beach. So there is some beach on this island. Not a lot. Right beside the washrooms. But there is definitely some beach. Can I get back in here? I can. And this is where we went up. Okay. And then you can see all the fish. I love this. I did see a bunch of houses behind. I'm wondering... How do we get there? How do we get down and around? Down? I guess we do go back down this direction and see if we can go around because there's a whole back section still. Yes, yeah, see, I see the houses behind the tents and I'm just wondering how do I get there? You get there by following the path <laughs> through all the spooky areas and we come to all the campers houses look at the windows i love how these are all done up like are these like campsites as well i have no idea but they are home so let's go inside and say hello nope they are definitely still just the villagers houses but that is okay because again they're coming with their stuff that they like and it's it's kind of a nice break from everything going on outside I'm loving the customs on this island. I'm loving the whole theme. Like, how much fun is this? 
more villager houses set up and I feel like they are I think they're set up to be like they could be like the camp counselors quarters they could be anything you want them to be really but I love the spooky windows I like the way they're lined up I love the customs this rusty old one like I feel like I'm walking on tin like I can almost hear it when I'm walking around and I, I'm loving that now this villager is home and like I said for the sake of just checking in we're gonna go and say hello And this is cute. I love this whole feeling. You've got the table set up. I love the quilts. We're playing chess. It's relaxed in here. I love that. I love that everyone that's in their houses, they're very calm. They're very relaxed. Oh, I could have gotten up that way to see the, the villagers and... So I could have gone around instead of walking all the way around, but you know what? It was an excellent way to revisit part of the island. Oh, and there's more tents! <gasps> oh, well now I'm excited because I love the tents and the tents were decorated. So let's go inside and check that out. This. This is perfect for me. They've got... The TV set up, they've got their computer set up, a nice comfy couch, some plants. This is this is nice. I would I would stay here. This does not creep me out. Oh, I am And then you have more more of the villager houses set up. I love the yards, the customs, like the whole thing is just phenomenal a little beach section and then we come back around to the other houses where we already currently visited just following the path here at <laughs> camp witherwood which is just so spooky such a cool theme so well decorated i want to be here at night i think coming at night would be just such a cool thing but it's such a neat idea i love the camping idea i love all the details i love the customs i love how many tents there are because i feel like if you're gonna run with a the theme run with the theme it's so well done the customs are amazing the whole swamp area with the boats definitely worth a visit come to camp witherwood however i'm gonna go ahead and my tour here i want to thank you guys so much for coming and exploring camp with me for just surviving because I feel like we're lucky. And if you had as much fun as I did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. As always, thank you for doing that. Thank you for coming along. Thank you for listening. It means absolutely everything to me. And as always, you know, I'm going to be back with more Animal Crossing videos.